So there's two types of acid reflux. There's a bad type where the acid is so severe that it burns your skin, causing these little scrapes called erosions. And then there's acid reflux where it hurts, but it doesn't cause burn marks, almost like hot water on your hand. It hurts, but it doesn't cause trouble. How do you tell the difference between the two without looking down? Well, you, you, you wouldn't know unless you looked down. If you took 100 people who complain of reflux, only 20% get the burn marks. The other 80% don't. But you can't tell by symptoms. The only way you could tell is by looking, but we try not to scope people routinely because scoping people really has risks involved with it. But that's the true way to be able to tell you severity. So what's it like to do an EGD? That's, that's where they look down the throat and they find out really what's going on. What's an happening? EGD is a very comfortable procedure nowadays with the help of modern sedation. We give a medicine called Diprovan or Propofol that makes you fall right to sleep. And while you're sleeping, we pass a scope about the size of a pen. And we look into the food tube, the stomach, and the first portion of the intestine called the duodenum. What are you looking for when you look at those? For, We're looking for acid burn marks. We're looking for scar tissue. We're looking for abnormal skin color called Barrett's esophagus, as well as stomach ulcers and things like that. What is the burn marks? What, are they, what do they look like? What's an erosion look like? So your, What's the danger signs? So your food tube is white, your stomach is red. That would be normal. And where they meet should be like two sheets of paper, white meets red. But with erosions, you'll get burn marks that are tracking upwards from the red stomach into the white esophagus, and they're really obvious because you'll see these red streaks within the white esophagus. So what do you tell the patient that has the bad GERD, the bad kind? How, how do you teach the patient how serious this can be? Well, the first thing you do is you correlate their symptoms with what's wrong. And many times patients don't have symptoms. They have asymptomatic GERD. Wow. Wow. So you make sure they know that trust the symptoms, but sometimes you can't. People with erosions, it's very important for them to take their medicine. If they go on vacation and miss their medicines, they need to go to the pharmacy and get some replacement. Whereas the non-burn mark people, whatever works to make them better, they should do. If it's Tums or Pepsid or apple cider vinegar, oh, I'm not <laughs> sure about that, Dr. Bob. Whatever works, they should take that to make them feel better.